Wow, have you been looking for homes and you've just missed out on offer after offer after offer and now you're on like your fifth or sixth home and you just can't get one to get across the finish line. I want to talk about what it's like to buy in a market where it seems like there's nothing to buy and what are some of the things that you need to do in order to find your home or create an opportunity for your home and get across the finish line. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it here in a couple seconds. I think one of the most difficult times in the real estate in industry for a buyer really is kinda of right now because you've kinda of met a series of things that have happened that, is, that have crossed paths, <laughs> you know, kinda of like the perfect storm. You know, interest rates are at all time lows. That's great. Homes on the market, the inventory levels are at all time lows. So you see that there, low and low. Interest rates low, inventory low. Then at the same time, you start to look at new construction homes and they're building at a much lower level than they should be building at or anticipating. So, and then you add to that the cost of wood and some of these things have gone up. So there's a lot of things that are happening right now in the midst of this um, post pandemic as we kind of get to that point and everybody's starting to come out that's really affecting the home buyer right now. Those people that have worked hard to get their credit in a position where they are capable of buying, they've saved some money for down payment and closing costs, and they're just really tired of renting but they just can't seem to find a home that fits their needs that they can actually get across the board or they're not competing with 15 or 20 other clients or other buyers. So here's a couple things I wanna talk about that might help you in your search, but most importantly, can help you get across the finish line. And the first thing is understanding exactly what you're willing to take and understanding what is a non-negotiable. That probably be one of the first things that I, I, you need to understand because you're in a market where one day can make the difference between whether or not you get the home or you don't, or whether you're competing with two buyers or you're competing with 20. That one day can make a difference. So you have to understand that when you walk in the property to view it, First off, you want to try and be the first person in the property as soon as it goes on the market, but once you walk in, you're almost having to make a decision on the spot. You're going to have to know by the time you walk through that property that you have a good enough feeling that this is the place for you and your family. Because if you don't and you want to sleep on it or let me think about it, let me talk to the family about it, da 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 then what's going to happen is, is by the time you come to the conclusion that that house fits, you're competing with 20 other offers and five cash deals, et cetera, et cetera. So understand that when you go look at it the first time, that's when you want to be able to make that, that conscious decision. The, the plus behind that is worst case scenarios, if you do get the contract and you get it executed, they go with you you still have a termination option period as long as your agent has put that in your contract to then change your mind and you only lose a couple bucks. So um, I would definitely say in this type of market the way it is right now, that's vital. The second thing that I think is really important is that if you're really thinking about um, um, a home that fits your needs, like we said, understanding what you need, but also understanding where else can I get that home? Can I only buy resale? Can I look into new construction? Can I look at an option of maybe buying a lot and building a property on it? Or building a, um, a property from a builder that builds on my own lot? And maybe I could buy the lot and put a house on there. Can I? Um, go into a lease with the option to buy scenario where maybe that helps me um, find a property that fits my needs and, and 
you know, gets me there. You know what I mean? What other alternatives? What is what is your agent doing? You know, my team right now, we're canvassing neighborhoods. You know, we get listings in neighborhoods where that we put homes on the market, but we understand that when we get a home on the market, we're going to sell it to only one person. There might be 10 or 15 other buyers that are considering that home. So we're canvassing the neighborhood where we got listings. We're calling different neighbors, talking to the neighbors. Maybe they're considering selling their home and maybe it's just they didn't know the right scenario. You know, what is your agent doing to help find those? Dipping into HUD and short sales and pre foreclosures and foreclosures. You know, these are all items that in a normal market, we wouldn't be as concerned with looking at because there would be an abundance of inventory. But when there's no inventory or very little inventory, it's important to find alternative homes to satisfy my client's needs. And ultimately, it, again, it starts with you understanding exactly what you're willing, what you need in your home and you're willing to take and what you don't want, what are deal breakers for you. The last and final thing is, is you got to have a sense of flexibility. You're going to need to be patient in this type of market. And you're going to under, have to understand going in, you know, if I'm, you know, great example is if, if you're a home buyer that's in the first time home buyer category, you know, you're buying a home, 220, $250,000 here in Houston, Texas, then you got to understand that you are one of the biggest segments of home buyers right now. And because you're one of the biggest segments, that means you're going to have the most competition. You're going to have the most competition from other buyers. You're going to have the most competition from investors because they're buying those homes to rent and, 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 and do things, not only private investors, but corporate investors. So in dealing with that large segment, as it may be, okay, in dealing with that large segment, as it may be, it's important that you have a level of patience and you also have a level of flexibility. Where, and, I, and what I mean by that is this, is maybe in this home, you're determined to buy a home this year, and maybe in this home, you wanted granite countertops. But the three or four homes that you've looked at, that you had granite countertops on, you missed out on all of them. And then you come across another home that has just about everything you need, but maybe it doesn't have the granite countertops. You have to also think, well, maybe I can purchase this home and I can put the granite countertops in at a later date. Because at the end of the day, it's all about finding your needs, but also understanding what is flexible. What can I do later? What can I do maybe, um, at, you know, with, with a subcontractor or, or one of the retail outlets? Because if you understand that, that might be the difference between you finding the home that you're looking for and moving into your first home or missing out on 9, 10, 11, 12. I had a client uh, or an uh, agent tell me they missed out on 15 deals because they just couldn't compete with the other offers that were out there or that they were competing against. So hopefully this gave you some insight as a buyer in this particular market and kind of what's going on. Um, if you have questions about it, or if you just need an agent that's, that's gonna do the extra step in order to find you the home that you're looking for, give me a call. You can always reach me. Again, I'm Walter Davis at 832-257-9083. Of course, you can go to my website and start the search at www.myluxuryagent.com. I'd love for you to start your search there. But let, let's get it together where we can sit there and talk about some of these additional options for you because searching for homes the way we traditionally did in a, you know, different market years ago will not get the home that you're looking for today. You need the alternative options to find your dream home and get you into your first home. So as always, 
Stay safe. God bless. And I look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing you guys next time. Have a nice one. Bye-bye now.